This has only happened twice during my entire career. Good morning to all of my beautiful and wonderful subscribers. I hope that you all are having a fantastic day so far. Right now, I am starting my last block of days on reserve for the month of June, and I was called this morning for a DC turn. So what that means is I will fly from Dallas to Washington, DC, and then I will turn around and I will fly from Washington, DC right back to Dallas. And it's funny because I woke up a few minutes before crew scheduling called me, and when I woke up, I just had this feeling. I just knew that my phone was about to ring and they called me at 5 30 in the morning. It's just funny because I'm like, I have that cruise scheduling telepathy. I just somehow knew in my sleep I was going to get a trip. But let's go do this turn and have a great day. I'm home from my trip now. Both flights were really good and I just stopped at the grocery store to get a few things. This is all that I picked up from the store. I have this Mexican style vegetable and beans blend, which I will eat with this rice and rotisserie chicken to make some burrito bowls. I also got some apples, peanut butter, almond milk, my favorite cereal. I seriously love these oatmeal squares and some lentil soup. So I figured this is all easy stuff that I can meal prep in case if I get called for another trip. Crew scheduling did give me my call shift tomorrow. I am on reserve availability period or also known as wrap B, which means that I am on call from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. tomorrow. For dinner tonight, I am trying out a new salad. It has chicken, chickpeas, red grapes, craisins, and a few other things in it as well. Mmm, that's really tasty. Salad's really good. morning everyone. It is currently 7.54 a.m. right now. I have been on call since 6 a.m. and I have not gotten a trip yet. I just meal prepped some chicken burrito bowls in case if I get called for a trip. Oh my gosh you guys literally right after I turned my camera off I got a notification that I was given a trip. just finished getting ready so we are about to head out the door and go to work. I was called for a two-day trip and we're working two flights today. Today we are flying from Dallas to Denver, Colorado and then Denver to Chicago. As you all can clearly tell this reserve month of June has been busy 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 and I am absolutely loving it. I gotta go but I will see you all in a bit. Just got to my hotel here in Chicago. Oh my gosh, we had so much turbulence on our flight here. Our flight from Dallas to Denver was actually relatively smooth. It's usually bumpy going into Denver and it was a little turbulent, but not that bad. But our flight from Denver to Chicago was turbulent the entire time. The captain did tell us before the flight that we needed to stay in our flight attendant jump seats until he gave us the okay to get up and begin our service. And I think we were in our jump seats for a good 30 to 35 minutes before he called us to let us know that we could start our service. 
So then once we were up and moving about, we had our carts out in the aisle and I think we were able to do service for four, maybe five rows. And then it started getting really turbulent again. So the captain called us and unfortunately we had to take the carts all the way back to the galley and suspend service for the rest of the flight because it was just way too turbulent for us to be out in the aisles with the heavy carts and doing our beverage service. This has only happened twice during my entire career where we had to completely stop our in-flight service because of turbulence. Usually we can work around turbulence, you know, for example, we don't serve hot beverages like hot tea or coffee, but today we were just, you know, going like this with the cart and it wasn't safe for us or the passengers, so we all made the call with the captain that it was just better for all of us to remain seated. But I am really hungry, so I am going to get changed out of my uniform and eat my dinner. I'm about to eat my chicken bowl that I packed for dinner, and I am currently uploading my next video onto YouTube all about flight attendant training. I just took a shower and have my pajamas on now. I am so ready for bed. Good night. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 5.40 a.m. I have just one flight today back to Dallas, and it's actually a deadhead, which means I'm still considered working crew, but I get to fly in just a regular passenger seat because my company has to get me back to Dallas where I am based, and that's pretty much it for today. So let's head to the airport. I just landed back in Dallas. The flight was really smooth. I think it was about two hours long. And you guys, it was so exciting. I actually ran into one of my instructors from flight attendant training. Look who I just ran into. This is my now friend, Mark. He was actually my instructor. Hi in everybody. Training. <laughs> and now, He's back to flying. That's just one of the coolest things about working in the aviation industry is that we can do a lot of different things. So right now, obviously I'm a flight attendant, but one day if I wanted to be an in-flight instructor, that's definitely something I could apply for and try to do. And I would also be able to go back to being a flight attendant if I wanted to. Or I could go into recruitment or management. There's a lot of different things that I could do, but for right now, I'm really happy being a flight attendant. Anyways, I am waiting for the employee bus to take me to the parking lot and and then we can head home. I'm back home in Dallas now and crew scheduling actually released me from my last day on reserve. It's part of our contract that we as reserve flight attendants can only be flown up to a certain amount of hours and I have officially maxed out. So what that means is they flew me as much as they possibly could this month and they cannot give me any more trips. So I actually get to fly to Philadelphia tomorrow rather than the day after. But that's not where Eric, Luna and I are staying for the 4th of July. We're going somewhere else. I have never been before and you all will just have to stay tuned to find out where that is. Mm -hmm. 